Welcome once again, friends, to First Baptist Church, Grand Cayman. Thank you for joining us for our ongoing series, Ready, Steady, Go With God. And today in Colossians chapter 2, I'm particularly wanting to focus on these wonderful verses in 2 and 3. That you may know the mystery of God, namely Christ, in whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. Today, people use tarot cards, look up their horoscopes, are terrified by voodoo, and then talk in vague terms about spirituality and being a spiritual person. Our syncretistic, pluralistic culture is not unlike ancient Colossae. In Colossians 2, Paul was confronting a world full of, quote, elemental spirits that many believe controlled their lives and their destinies and needed to be respected and placated and sacrificed to. But Paul offers hope by explaining why Christians don't need to be controlled by these powers. In Jesus Christ, there's freedom from such bondage and call to fullness of life. So how do we reach that point of freedom and sufficiency in Christ? Well, first of all, in these opening verses, he encourages us to be encouraged in heart. At one level, we don't need more friendly churches where you just get a nice warm welcome. We need those who go the extra mile, who invite us to their homes, take us out for coffee, offer to babysit, or even do some housework. We need encouraging churches, encouraging communities of people being transformed into the likeness of Jesus. And secondly, he talks about being united in love. The purpose is so that we may have the full riches of complete understanding. In other words, the meshing together of head and heart. Some Christians are all head and no heart. Some are all heart and no head. But what God has joined together, why are we putting apart? And Paul goes on to explain that this understanding is so that we may know the mystery of God. We often think of mystery as some kind of puzzle. But in the New Testament, a mystery is something that God has hinted at in one way and another and has now clearly revealed. What he has clearly revealed is that the gospel, to bring not only Jewish people to Christ, but salvation to the whole world, was always his plan A, his main game. Ancient Jewish election and special status was for a purpose. Through the Jewish race, salvation would come through Christ to bless the world. And why is it important to know about this mystery? Because this mystery is ultimately Christ, the whole Testament pointing forwards to him and his coming. He is the key to unlocking its treasures and to understanding what the big picture is all about. Paul goes on to say that it is in Christ Ultimately, that all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge are to be found. He is the, if you will bear with it, the ultimate treasure island. Or he is the casket full of endless treasures, eclipsing any gold, silver, diamonds of pearls in this world or whatever we could imagine. So, as we close today, how do you rate yourself in terms of encouragement, love, and understanding. Are you encouraging others to put their faith into action? Are you loving others, helping them to strive to press on with the Lord? And are you growing in your understanding, taking steps to deepen your knowledge of God's Word and through that, God himself? Let's desire to excel in these areas so that we may know Christ better, the one in whom is hid all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. Enjoy some of those treasures of peace and forgiveness, welcome and a sense of destiny today. God bless you. Amen.